Uh, hello, uh, polycosinol may be able to help with bad cholesterol levels in someone. Heart disease is the number one killer in the United States alone. And do you know what the number one cause of heart disease is? Well, it's cholesterol. Technically, LDL cholesterol, which is the bad stuff. HDL is the good stuff. Now, one popular method of, of dealing with this kind of stuff is by taking prescription drugs or pharmaceuticals. And they can work. Of course, there's a price to pay, and that is um, free radicals get created when these drugs break down. Also, there's some nasty side effects like liver damage and potentially cancer, to give you some ideas. It's due to this that many people are fairly excited about polycosinol and what it can do. Uh, more good news um, is that polycosinol can perform just as good, if not better, than some of the leading pharmaceuticals. Plus. The side effects are very, very mild. However, uh, most of the test clinical studies um, took place in the country of Cuba, which mostly manufactures sales and profits from polycosinol. It's due to this that some people are pretty skeptical about it and what it can do. Of course, the risks involved are pretty small. Um, so in a nutshell, it's not 100% certain that polycosinol can do what some people claim it can. Uh, to learn more, just click on the link uh, right next to this video um, where I'm giving away a, a free guide on what someone should really look for in a supplement brand.